So communication and involvement is something that is often overlooked but can have a massive impact on employee retention. If I'm thinking back over the years at ISL, then I'd probably put this as the area where we've missed the most opportunities or made the biggest mistakes um, to actually put proper communication processes in place to do the right things to seek feedback and I can see clearly that would have a positive impact on employee retention. Um, so a, a problem here is often that as you, um, as you scale up, so maybe your employee numbers are between 25, 30, 40 people, then the, the richness of the conversations you had previously when you were a startup, when you were much smaller, then that's easily lost. Um, you, you have a lot less engagement between your top team, between the leaders of the business and between the new and the lower level hires in the business and you really need to address that. Don't think that because you still might be sat in the same office or sat nearby to them or because you describe yourself as an approachable leader that that's something that compensates for the ability to actually be involved on a daily basis with what your employees are doing and, and getting feedback from them to allow them to give you that different perspective on things that you might not see clearly from your own point of view. Um, a, a solution here, there's, there's a whole host of things you can do to enhance communication. So that might well be to look at 360 feedback, um, to capture any potential issues that might impact on retention in the longer term with your managers, with your leaders in the business. Um, maybe you want to look at regular pulse employee engagement surveys. That again can help you to get murmurings of where issues might start to play into attention and pick up on those and address those head on. Um, another option is something simple but effective. Take a shared lunch with your employees once a week um, and actually just be really deliberate about the time you're spending listening to them, chatting to them about how they are, both at work and outside of work and, and making sure you're still spending the time getting to know them. Um, a, something I'm really proud of that we've done at ISL, which I'd like to highlight as an example here, is our director's surgery. So we started this 18 months ago and it's pretty simple. Um, I allocate a whole day to listening to the employees. So we set the date in advance. I sit in one of our meeting rooms with no work to do and encourage people to come in and talk to me one to one on any range of topic they want to. So that might be that they're struggling with a particular task in their job. Um, maybe they're curious about plans for the business and haven't had the right opportunity or the right environment to, to quiz me on what we're intending to do. Um, it might be that actually they're frustrated with their manager and this is the right environment then to be able to raise those frustrations. Equally for me to be able to encourage them to, to deal with them themselves rather than simply hand them over to me. But capturing that feedback is really useful to address retention issues head on. Um, maybe actually they want to challenge me where we talk about values of the business and they don't see that actually that happens in reality. Again, it's a, it's a really great environment to capture that feedback and to see those different perspectives. Um, it's, it's also it's a really deliberate signal on the time we're spending listening upwards, creating that safe environment to make sure that we are open to feedback. Now clearly an important part of this is making sure there's actions after that day but the day itself has been really powerful and we've always walked away between my business partner Henry and I with some, some valuable feedback after the day. Um, this communication, like I said, is, is massively key across the business. So what I would say is make sure it's a constant part of what you're doing with regards to your retention strategy. Make sure you're always looking at the different ways and the different frequencies with which you communicate key things that will help you to attain great people.